Hey guys, Chris here with another Objective-C lesson and today we're going to be talking about if statements so let's dig in. You can download this Xcode project from the link on the screen or in the link in the description below. The first thing we're going to talk about are if statements and if you're familiar with other programming languages you'll probably pick this up really easily and for those of you guys who aren't programmers if statements are basically something that you do unconsciously without even knowing it when you think about something there are times where you're gonna think if some sort of condition then I'm gonna do something else if it's this then I'm gonna do that well when you're writing code well when you're writing code if statements allow you to make those sorts of decisions so if I just type in if Xcode already assumes that that's what I want to do and you can see from here there are two parts to the if statement the condition and the statements for example if I just declare a variable up here let's just say it's age and uh, let's just give it 10 now I want to say something like if the variable age is above 10 then I want to do something so all I would have to do is use the greater than comparison and see if age is greater than 10 then in here I can write whatever I want do something now there's another part to the if statement and that's the else clause and I can do something else here so when this code runs it checks the variable age if it's greater than 10 if it is then it's gonna run this branch and if it's not if it's below 10 it's gonna run this code down here it'll never do both now you can do other stuff let's say that you have two conditions you can have an else if if age is greater than 10 then do something if it's greater than 7 then do something else and then finally if it's none of those two conditions do something else here do something if age is over 10 and in this condition do something else if age is over 7 so when it's checking age it might in this example because age is 10 it is not this condition is not true so it's actually going to fall and check this next condition if it's greater than 7 and it is because we have 10 there it's going to actually execute this if I had changed this variable to a 5 then it would actually run the code in here simple but powerful you'll find yourself using if statements a lot in your code now some other examples you don't have to be using an integer in this example we did you could even use um, objects or strings or something like that so let's look at a an example where we want to compare a string so let's say I had a name um, Corey and I wanted to f write an if statement I want to execute some code if the name is Corey so I could use a method that's part of the NS string and compare it to Corey do something if name is Corey else do something else if name is not Corey so in this example here I have a variable with the string Corey in it and in this if statement I'm checking if the name variable is equal to the string Corey now you can add something like this exclamation mark and that is the equivalent of the negative so now this reads if name is not equal to Corey so this actually becomes if name is not Corey then do something and then this else statement obviously is is do something else likewise in here I could say if name is not equal to 10 then do something if is not equal to 10 so in this case where age is 5 it would come into this branch so what do you think of the if statement in the next lesson we're gonna learn about conditional operators and how we can start to chain those conditions together and form even more powerful if statements 
Now for your fact of the day. Back in March of 2012, Apple released some stats for the App Store. And one of the stats was that developers collectively uh, made over $4 billion from the App Store. Wow. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys next time.